How's it going guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today what I've got for you is of course I rate your teams. For cheap, fast and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. Now over the weekend we got ourselves some brand new team of the group stage items and of course we got ourselves a brand new objective which is this Kingsley Coman card. Looks like a very nice card. I highly recommend doing it if you guys have the time this week to get this card completed because I believe be this card looks like a solid card. You know, he's got nice in-game stats. Um, his stamina is a bit weak. Uh, physicals in general just a bit weak. Um, apart from that, I think he's actually a nice card. I'd say put maybe um, possibly a hawk. Something like that, maybe a marksman on him, something, um, something to improve uh, that finishing a little bit, uh, maybe improve the stamina's, uh, not stamina's, but the, the physicals here and there. But apart from that, I'd say do the SBC. Anyway, we're going to jump straight into it. We're going to start off with Joe's team. He says 50k for upgrades, all untradeable. Keep up the good work. Let's have a look. Realistically, there's not any upgrades you can make in this team for 50k that I'd recommend. What I would say you could do. Um, is maybe look at different formations. You can possibly play um, a 4-3-3 fourth variant um, and work in... Actually, no, I just realized because your fourth variant will link Bellerin to Alessandrini. You probably put a lot of thought into this, actually, and I'm probably, probably coming around acting like you can change it up and you really can't. Um, hmm... I'm just trying to think of, of a way you can get better chemistry than what you have right now, if there is a possible way. You can always look to maybe, um, no. Yeah, I don't know how you get better chemistry here, to be honest. If you guys have any any recommendations to try and help the chemistry out, uh, make sure to put them in the comments down below um, to help my man out uh, with his chemistry. But apart from that, I mean, realistically, there's there's no upgrades you can make in this team for 50k that'll improve it. I mean, I guess you can go with Lloris, but Ariola is actually OP. Um, what I found with goalies is it's genuinely just personal preference. Um, I don't think that the higher rated goalie is necessarily better. I think it's all personal preference. And that's just how it is this year with goalies. Um, Next team from Waza, 442 in game, about 3 million liquid two on a road to glory. Uh if I may if I tell you what to change, you're actually gonna change the Waza, or are you, you like are you trading with those liquid coins? Um because yeah, like it, it, realistically, you know, you can say, oh, inform Simaximine, but you would have done that. You have 3.2 million liquid. I feel like this is just you want to just throw your team out there. Um, so I'm just gonna say rating out of 10. Give it a solid 7.5 out of 10. Um, I think that originality-wise, not really original, is it? Not going to lie. But apart from that, I mean, it probably plays really well in game. Um, you can perhaps look at different a different right winger, um, possibly. But yeah, aside from that, pretty pretty solid team. Um, just, yeah, a decent all-round team. Uh, we've got Collins ne uh, next. He's got 300,000 coins for improvements. All players are untradeable except for Ariola and Alba. All right. You've got 300k for improvements in this team as well. I honestly, I know obviously party is untradeable. Um, I don't think party is a bad player, but I think there are better players you can get than that party. Obviously, he isn't tradable though, so you, I'm guessing you want to keep hold of him. Um, what I would say potentially is it might be worth to improve your game a little bit. It might be worth swapping out party for Kante, in my opinion. I think Kante is a better CDM than Partey. Uh, just my personal preference. I'm not a big fan of that card. I think he's a bit very clunky in game um, and very, very sluggish on the ball. Um, aside from that, I mean, the rest of the team is pretty solid. You know, you can perhaps maybe save up towards getting a Varane in there because he's really OP. But apart from that, um, it's a decent team, to be fair. And I like the uh, the links on this right side. Obviously, you've got Cruyff in the base icon, which is very nice, too. We've got Clerco's team next. Um, can you rate my team? All untradeable Alison Alisson, Fabregas, Wijnaldum, and Kante. I have 100,000 coins. willing to save the uh, second pick is in-game. Uh, food looked great, man. If you guys didn't know, I just did a cooking stream. We cooked some uh, steak ramen. Um, so, yeah, make sure to follow the Twitch account. Link in the description. We do all sorts of streams on there. But this is what his team is currently looking like. I like this link with the pie up there, too. Um, I would say for this team, we don't really... I mean, you could go with that Van Anholt card. I forget. Is it a Rule Breakers Van Anholt? I forget. Um, it's a... It is a Rule Breakers Van Anholt. I guess you could go with this card. Obviously, you can't afford it yet, but you will be able to afford it uh, soon for the left-back spot. I love Alex Tellez. The absolute GOAT. But uh, you get full chemistry with that Van Anholt as well. He gets the link with uh, Wijnaldum. And looks like a very nice card as well. So you could go with that new Van Anholt uh, over on that left-back spot. Um, aside from that, I mean, this team is really nice. This team is really nice. What's the Cess playing like? How is he? Um, everything else about this team is, is, is honestly very, very good. I just realized, what are you playing in-game? Let me have a look what you're playing in-game. 
So you're playing Kante, Renato, Wijnaldum, and Seskit Cam. Interesting. I'm not entirely sure about Seskit Cam. I guess if he's working for you, he's working for you. Are there any French league and plays you can go with there? Did you do the Mole? Doesn't look like it. He's not on your bench. Um, any French league and plays you can put a Cam. Probably not right now, but I'm guessing soon we might get a good SBC. And if you do, obviously look out for that and bang him at Cam. But yeah, solid teammate. Uh, the next team is going to be from Julian. Uh, it's Julian from the stream. Second pick is in game. My untradables are objectives and the SBC cards. I've got 50k for upgrades uh, and I can grind coins easily and I'm willing to grind swaps. Keep with a good vids. Oh yeah, it's a good shout. Swaps should be pretty soon, I reckon. Um, I think in the next week, I think we'll get swaps or maybe a little bit more. Um, I think that uh, we'll get swaps then. Uh, in terms of this team though, it's a nice team. Obviously, Hero to share is very, very nice. What I would say is Fernando, in my opinion, not a very good card at all. I would say he is definitely where you could definitely improve your squad. Now, you could go with, uh, honestly, normal Valverde would play better there, in my opinion. Um, there's a few different plays you can go with. If you eventually, uh, let's say, you, uh, you you go for Ramos, uh, you, sorry, you go for Varane over Ramos, um, you could definitely go with, uh, you know, a French player there or a French uh, La Liga player if there is one, if that does exist. But a French player with two orange and two red links should get full chemistry as well. Um, but I would say Valverde on eight chemistry would probably play better. Are there any good uh, Brazilians? Let's have a quick look. What are we saying? Um, CDM, CM, Cam, La Liga, Brazil. I know there's obviously uh, Casemiro, but I'm not a big fan of that Casemiro card. Yeah, sadly, there is no real great ones. Um, like I said, I think that, uh, I think, I mean, you could go with Frankie De Jong if you wanted to as well. Um, uh, they're all going to get the same amount of chemistry. So I, I would personally go with, um, either, Va uh, Valverde or Frankie De Jong. You could go, you could save up and go with Lorente though as well, the inform or the rule breakers. Um, next team is going to come from Bruno. Shout out Bruno. Shout out Bruno Fernandes, actually. What a legend. Um, hey, hey, but love the content. Hey, thanks, bro. This is my road to glory. I've got 250k to spend. Everyone is untradeable except for Klosterman and Courtois. And I play the second pick in game. Congrats on the weight loss. Hey, thanks, bro. I appreciate that, mate. Um, all right. Let's have a quick look. So, of course, um, you know, the first thing you can do is look to upgrade the Klosterman to the road to the final. Although I'm guessing you plan on changing Klosterman out, which is probably why you haven't upgraded him yet. Um, into which I would say... You could go with Rafael Varane at right centre-back. And then you could go with, again, the likes of a, a Valverde for centre-mid. Um, that would work probably pretty well, to be fair. Um, what else would I recommend if I could? No, I, I don't think there's any amazing Chelsea midfielders this year. I mean, Kovacic is all right as a box-to-box, -box, but not when you've got 250k. You're not spending 2k on a centre-mid, you know what I mean? I would say save up Rafael Varane right CB, inform Valverde centre-mid. That, that would be my recommendation. Um, but it's a solid team. And Gigi on Garincha as well. That's a solid pull in the base icon pack. Uh, next one from Henry. I've got a 500k. Everyone is untradeable. Play a 4-4-2 in game. Keep it the good content, bro. Thank you, mate. So you play a 4-4-2. Base Roy Keane's a bit of a rough one, isn't it? All right, 500k. Um, how much is Virgil van Dijk? Uh, bro, I know people like Ake. I know people like Ake, but um, not this version, obviously. 260,000 coins. Get Virgil van Dijk right CB right right away. Literally right now. That's what I would recommend doing. Um, maybe the next thing I would do... Uh, it, yeah. You could look to possibly do the new Lucas Moura SBC because it is a very, very nice card. Um, I don't know exactly how much the SBC is for that right mid spot. Um, but you could look to do the Lucas Moura SBC as well. Uh, aside from that, I mean, the rest of the team is solid, mate. It's a nice team, to be fair. Um, Ronaldo up top. That Zhao Felix card is absolutely cracked, by the way. If you guys have enough to do this Zhao Felix card, it is incredible. He's about 400k, he's a lot of coins, but I've been using him in champs, and he's fantastic. Really, really like the card. I think he's a lot of fun. Uh, we've got Tyrion's uh, team now. Um, oh, wait, have I just skipped one? Uh, sorry, I skipped Sam's. Uh, first picks how I start a second in game. Verna, Salah, Neuer are untradeable. I've got 70,000 coins now, but can grind to whatever you suggest. Love the vids, man. Keep it the amazing work, bro. Thank you very much, Sam. I appreciate the kind words, dude. Uh, nice team. Straight off the bat, it's a very nice team. Um, not a big fan of this Mendy card. Not gonna lie, I did give him a go for a couple of games. Did not like him. I tried him out. I know he's red. 
I'd rather, like, honestly, if I were you, I'd probably go with Robertson there uh, and get the full game to Joe Gomez. Um, the rest of the team is solid, though. The rest of the team is very nice in its positions as well. Um, I would possibly recommend Salah at left and, and, and Rashford on the right. And the reason I say that is because when you have Salah on the right, you tend to be very predictable and very readable. People know you're not going to go on that weak foot. You know, he's a three-star weak foot. It's quite bad. Um, so you tend to cut in a lot and people read that. I know the finesse shot's really OP with Salah. But cross body shots are good this year and crosses are good this year. So potentially putting him on the left and then you don't have to worry about people reading the cut in might be a potential good shout. Um, aside from that, I think next upgrade point would be Allen after that. Um, so potentially look to upgrade Allen to, you know, maybe a Kante if he can afford to, to save up towards that. But apart from that, solid, solid team. One thing I would say as well, um, maybe just swap... Allen and, and Werner. You know, you can start Werner as striker. At least then you get the kickoff boost uh, potential as well. Now I've got Tier, Kier, uh, sorry, Tier and D's uh, team. I keep wanting to say Kieran Tierney. Uh, 10k now, but we'll have about 100 to 150k after rivals and foot champs. Everyone is tradable except for Kante, Wijnaldum, Bench, Reserves, and SBCs. Uh, in game, I swap Marshall and Werner around. Love your vids. Keep up the good work. Hey, thanks, bro. I appreciate that, mate. Um, nice team. I see you've done that, Cody, man. I respect it. Kyle Walker at right back is my first recommendation. The guy is incredible at right back. Very, very good. And then I would say save up towards potentially getting a Furlan Mendy for left C. Uh, sorry, potentially getting a Raphael Varan for left CB and then going with either Allison or Courtois in net, depending on your personal preference. Apart from that, really, really nice team. Uh, like, the thing is, is that people like Varan and Mendy and things like that are incredibly meta. And you can have fun using different players, absolutely. But if you want to win, you've got to really go with the meta, in my opinion. You just, you're just at disadvantage if you don't. Uh, the last three teams for this episode are going to be from Callum, uh, Stuart, and Freddie. So the first one is Callum's. Here's my team. I've got 60k for the intradables are Gomez, Ramos, Fabinho, Lucas, Pogba, and Taliska. And the bench, loving the streams lately. Hey, thank you, Callum. I appreciate that, mate. Um, 44 in game, and then you're playing with uh, these tactics. Okay, possession after pre uh, sorry press after possession loss and fast build-up. I respect that. And this is what you start with as well. So, yeah, again, um, I know you ain't got the coins for it now, but in the future, Varan Mendy. It's meta, but it works. You know, it works. And uh, I like your three cams, though. You got a lot of uh, good plays. That Taliska is cracked. Really like that Taliska. Um, we've got Stuart's team next. I've got 270k. Werner, the whole bench is untradeable. I love the vids. Hey, thanks, bro. Appreciate that, man. Um, so, you're playing again a 4 2 3 1 in game. Um, I would recommend, actually, with this team, personally, I would say get yourself, um, get yourself, uh, never mind. I was going to say something different then, but I actually, if you can save up towards getting a Kante at, at right cam, right, then you can potentially play, you can potentially swap Rashford and Dembele, get them on full chemistry. Uh, Rashford will be off chem, but then you save it for a Pogba at left cam for Sissoko. Rashford gets full chemistry. Your team is looking pretty saucy after that. And then Kunde gets full chem as well. Uh, and the last one's going to be from Freddy. Hey, hey, beloved the vids and streams. Sissoko, Pogba, Werner and Martial tradable. I've got 150k and I play a 4-4-2 in game with Werner and Mane up top. That Mane card. Oh my God, he's so difficult to play against, bro. I cannot stand playing against Mane. He's so difficult to play against. Uh, this is a very nice team, though. This is a very nice team. Village at the back as well. This is a solid team. I would potentially just say try and upgrade uh, Sissoko. You know, maybe maybe you save up towards a Kante. Kante's fantastic this year. Like, he's just so difficult to play against. He just wins everything back. Um, but potentially save up towards a Kante. Or, um, no, yeah, I'd say, I'd say Kante, to be honest, over Sissoko. Um, but apart from that, it's a solid team. And, uh, and, and I like, bro, Mane... Gives me nightmares sometimes. His dribbling is insane. But that is it for I Rate Your Teams. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like down below and subscribe if you guys are new around here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.